everybody here to the uh, Washington High School Spring uh, Signing Ceremony. We have six athletes today that are going to be uh, signing, and I'm going to turn it over to their coaches to introduce them, talk a little bit about them, and uh, let the players introduce their parents and, and tell where the um, where they'll be attending school next year. But uh, to all of them, we uh, thank them for their dedication to Washington High School, to their teams, um, and the parents for all their work in, in getting them to practice and, and helping with the commitment that the athletes follow through on. Uh, it just helps make our uh, life a lot easier uh, at Washington High School and, and a lot of fun because we're able to watch them and, and uh, um, we don't know where we're going to end up this year, but a year ago we were conference uh, all sports champs in both the men and women, and a lot of that good morning, guys. Uh, uh, right here, for today's the the day. So, uh, first coach, volleyball coach, Carrie Lombardi. Thanks. This is Erica Connor. She was a three time uh, varsity player, played outside and a little bit of middle, kind of all the way around. We're really excited. She is my first athlete here at Washington to go out and on a scholarship and play in college. So hoping for a few more that are still in the works. But Erica was second on our team in kills. Um, last year we were conference champions. This year we were second, but had the best record we've had at Washington. So, Erica. This is my mom, Terry Connor. I mean, my kids. Um, I'm going to Mount Olive College in North Exciting day for all these athletes and for uh, all Washington High School. Um, we've got some prepared notes, so I'll stick to them. We're all excited and proud to help announce that Maddie Becker will has been offered and is accepting both academic and athletic scholarships from Coach Corey Emmels and the Iowa State Cyclone Women's Distance Program. Maddie has been an integral part of both the Warrior Track and Cross Country teams, and it's no coincidence that the women's cross country team has won three divisional conference titles and has had four straight state meet appearances with Maddie while Maddie has been competing near Washington. The same holds true for women's track. Three divisional titles, plus Maddie, Coach Sherman, and Coach Nickel have one more spring season together. Maddie has advanced to the state meet every season in both track and cross country. In cross country, she earned all state honors the past two years by finishing in the top ten at our state meet. No wonder so many schools showed interest in Maddie. Maddie holds our home course record at the freshman and junior levels and co-holds the all-time best Warrior State meet time for the 4K distance. We will miss her talent, running talent, her academic and athletics leadership, and her work ethic and her great smile. When Maddie graduates in June, it will signal the end of eight great years with Mike and Jenny Becker, Maddie's proud parents. They have been tireless volunteers throughout the Washington community during Maddie's and her sister Erin's four years. Coach Immels will continue to enjoy these traits, and I, I'm certain that all Warrior fans look forward to Maddie's success and achievements at Iowa State University. Congratulations to an awesome young man. I'm going to introduce uh, all four of these guys. Before I get to that, um, I just also want to recognize some other people there. Most of them are in this room right now that aren't actually signing national letters of intent today, but that intend to go on and play collegiately. And that would be uh, Matt Schrafel, uh Spencer Thornton, uh, Albert Carr, Evan Davis, uh, Ronnie Henderson, and am I missing anyone? Michael Schneiderman and, and Bill Myers, who are all intend to go on and play uh, college football. So I'm very excited about that. They don't get the public recognition, but uh, just want to recognize them briefly. Uh, sitting in front of you today are four young men who are going to sign uh, national letters of intent. That's very unusual in one 
uh, high school program and have four kids in one year. So we're very proud of their accomplishments and, and obviously it's been reflected in, in the team overall success over the course of the last three years uh, with two conference, two divisional championships and a runner up and uh, three trips to the minimum of the quarterfinals and the final eight in the state championship. So, uh, you know, I'm really proud of their accomplishments collectively and sometimes the benefits of those become uh, individual. So, uh, the first guy we're going to introduce is Shea Gutman, and he's going to explain where he's going to go. And then, uh, why don't you guys, so I shut up, you guys just introduce your parents and pass it down to Andre Oxman and Saxon and Matt Huffer. But all four of these young men uh, have worked extremely hard, along with those other young men that I've already mentioned, and uh, it's, it's great that they get some benefits from all that they put into this, uh, these activities. Congratulations. Um, this is my mom, Julie Gutman, and my dad, Mark Gutman, and I'll be playing football at Alvaro University. Um, this is my dad, Jeff Dawson, my mother, Hilda Dawson, and I'll be attending the University of Northern Ireland next year. Uh, this is my dad, Scott Andrews, my mom, Dory Andrews, and I'll be playing football at Green Once again, thank, thank you all very much for coming and sharing in this great accomplishment. It's, it means a lot more when they get to share it with their peers, and I see several faculty members and coaches and everybody out there. Uh, we really appreciate uh, the collaborative environment that happens here at Washington High School. All these kids participate across the board in multiple activities, and, and you can see why the support they get from our administration, the other coaches, and all these kids in the building. It's just a great as we say every day, it's always a great day to be a warrior, and today's even a more special day in the lives of these people, and thank you so much for sharing in it with them. Uh, Coach James? All right, I know uh, Dr. Pikeman would like to say a few words uh, to recognize these six, seven people. Just two quick thoughts, and the first one is maybe more to all the other athletes here than it is to these six, uh, but I want to recognize tremendous amount of work and effort that they put in to these achievements and these letters that they're going to sign here in just a few seconds. These things don't just happen. They take lots of effort over weeks, months, and years. All these guys in that weight room at 6.30, day after day after day, all those miles, those hundreds and hundreds of miles that Maddie has run all year long, uh, seven days a lot of, a lot of weeks, all the club volleyball, all the summer camps, the Eric Christmas they've been, we recognize that you earned this, guys. You work very hard for it lots of time, and it's a payoff for all of your efforts. And that can be true of a lot of you out there at future times also. And the second and last thought I want to share is just a big thank you. I, I have the greatest job in the world, and it's because of you know, people like you and all the thrills you provide our school, uh, and all the great recognition you bring to our school, and all the pride that you build in our school. And we are just very, very appreciative of everything you've done for Washington High School. And believe me, we will watch your future careers with great interest. Come back often and tell us how it's going. All right, so I guess you can get your pens out and uh, start signing. Then uh, once all that concludes, we have some uh, cake over here, so help yourself, and then get to uh, third hour class, I guess, for the students. Yeah, Eric, I believe, has already signed hers and returned it.
now or just uh, wait and do it